In this video, I'm going to show you how to search using MeSH terms. In Medline, the subject headings are called MeSH, which stands for Medical Subject Headings, and they are assigned to every article based on its content. Using MeSH terms in your search will help you to retrieve more relevant results. It's important to be aware that it can take six months to two years for MeSH headings to be applied to records in Medline. To use MeSH terms, ensure the Map Term to Subject Heading box here just below the search bar is selected. This will let the database suggest MeSH terms that it thinks are appropriate based on what you type into the search box. For example, let's enter the term nursing homes in the search box and click search. We can see that the term nursing homes is a MeSH term because it appears at the top of the list and it's highlighted. Sometimes the term you enter will have an identical subject heading, like our example, and other times it won't. So instead, Medline may suggest a MeSH term that is a synonym for your term. If Medline has suggested a subject heading that you think matches your search term, you can view Medline's definition of the subject heading by clicking on the circular icon on the far right hand side here in the Scope column. This is also known as a Scope Note. It's good practice to always check the Scope Note before adding a subject heading to your search. When you're finished looking at the Scope Note, you can click the Back button in your browser. If you decide to include the subject heading in your search, click directly on the hyperlinked term in the subject heading column, and then click again at the top here on Full Tree. The Full Tree view is like a hierarchy. Your selected MeSH term is highlighted in blue to help you see its place. We can see that the broader term associated with nursing homes is residential facilities. We can also see that nursing homes has two narrower terms, intermediate care facilities and skilled nursing facilities. Finally, nursing homes also has a number of related terms, like assisted living facilities, group homes, and homes for the aged. Often, you can find important subject headings in the broader terms, related terms, and narrower terms around your subject heading in the full tree. This is why opening the full tree view is so important. Subject headings help to address the problem of synonyms in medical literature. Theoretically, articles in which authors use different phrasing, such as convalescent home or nursing care home, will be indexed or tagged with this subject heading, thus grouping all articles about nursing homes under the same subject heading and making them much easier to find. There may be other subject headings that also describe our concept in the MeSH hierarchy, such as homes for the aged, but for now, let's move ahead with nursing homes. To add a MeSH term to your search, you can choose whether to explode the term or not. To explode the term, you can click on the box to the right of your term here, and if you scroll up, you'll notice this is in the Explode column. If you choose to explode your term, the database will automatically search for the term you've selected, as well as the narrower terms. These terms will be combined with OR in your search. If you don't want to search for narrower terms, or you only want to include some of the narrower terms, but not all of them, you can select only the ones you want by checking off the boxes beside each individual term on the left side. Once you've selected the term and decided whether to search all, some, or none of the narrower terms, scroll back up to the top. Before running the search, make sure that the Combine With box here on the left is set to OR. This is the default and we don't want to change that. Now we can click Continue. Medline will now prompt you to select subheadings, which we're not going to use, so we'll click Continue here at the top. Now Medline has run our search, and we can see that it appears on line one here of our search history. You'll notice there's a forward slash beside our term as well. This means that the term was searched as a MeSH term. You'll also notice the three letters EXP at the front of the term. This means that the term has been exploded, and Medline will show us results for nursing homes as well as its two narrower terms that we saw in the full tree. You can now continue searching by going back to the search bar and adding more MeSH terms following the same steps. For example, if I want to search homes for the aged as well, I can enter that term in the search box and hit search. Next, I'll click on the term and get into the full tree. I can also view the scope note to make sure that it meets my requirements. 
Then I'll click the checkbox, scroll back up to the top, and click on continue. Again, we'll bypass the subheading section by clicking continue. And now we can see that both subject headings are searched in our search history here on line one and line two. It's good practice to search subject headings on their own line so that it's easy to read and to make changes later. Try to avoid the common pitfall of rushing through subject heading selection. One good shortcut you can use is the forward slash code. If you already know your subject heading, you can type it in the search box here and end it with a forward slash. For example, if I type in homes for the aged with a forward slash, it will retrieve the exact same number of results. If you're not sure what to search, go through the mapping process demonstrated earlier in the screencast. If you have any questions about Medline, please feel free to contact us at ask.gerstein at utoronto.ca.